Hey everyone, it's Inspector Talon, and today we will be talking about a very interesting topic of slowdown and motion. Uh, before we get started, I want to give a very big thanks to MBD, Crack O, To Know To Name, Hexatron, anybody else who uh, was involved in uh, studying carts and learning more about them and their mechanics. So the main question we are wanting to answer is why and how does a minecart slow down and why does it go the certain amount of distance it does when it's not on powered rails being accelerated. So the first key to the puzzle is knowing that minecarts have a speed motion cap when both on and off of rails. So when on rails, the motion or the speed cap rather is eight blocks per second. And when it's off rails, it is four blocks per second. The exception being furnace carts. Um, however, we will get to that later. The speed of the minecart is only affected by a select number of blocks as shown here with the powered rails, uh, powered powered rails, giving the minecart motion and movement and speed and depowered powered rails taking away motion and speed from the minecart. The blocks here uh, with soul sand requiring certain conditions can also take away motion from the minecart. And it's an important to distinguish motion because water is unique in how it can affect both the slowdown rate of the minecart and the motion. So with that being said, what is slowdown and motion? Whenever a minecart is accelerating on powered rails, it takes a little bit of time before it gets up to that speed cap that I mentioned before. Once it's at that speed cap, there's actually an internal value called the motion value, which dictates how long the minecart will actually stay riding. So I can show you here, whenever it's below this magenta line, this indicates that it's that the motion value is below the speed cap. So when it's green, it's below the speed cap, but very quickly you'll find that it exceeds it and reaches that max speed of eight blocks per second. Once you are coasting at the speed cap inside the minecart, the motion value is going up. Uh, the maximum for the motion value is two blocks per tick. Um, however, it also depends on some other factors in terms of how that's actually seen in game. Um, and I can show that later on. So in orange here would be that internal value rising up to the max. And then once you're finally off of pa the powered powered rails, so in this case, normal rails, the minecart will start to slow down. But before you visually see it slowing down first, that motion value needs to decrease to the speed cap, then it'll go further. So I can show that here with a minecart. So you'll see if I stop the game, you'll see that it speeds up very quickly. If I turn on speed and velocity, you'll see that 
it reaches that max speed of f four blocks per second in water because water can affect the maximum speed and you'll also see that if I slow the game down once again you'll see that it hits that speed cap quite quickly and then you'll see this motion value here so keep in mind that four meters per second is the equivalent of 0 0.2 blocks per tick so right now we are 0.3 blocks per tick over that speed limit so it's going to be showing it's going four blocks per second but won't start slowing down until we get on the powered rails so now that we're on the magenta block we can see that that motion value is actually below 0 0.2 blocks per tick so as you would expect the speed is now decreasing until it eventually stops. So moving forward, the slowdown rate of minecarts can vary depending on the minecart type. So I can quickly unfreeze the game and then show with the amended minecarts mod the slowdown rates of the carts. I'll also disable uh, the values from earlier just to show it a bit better. So as you can see, depending on the minecart, or in this case the fill level of the minecart, which I can also show, the slowdown rate will be affected. So I have it organized here based on uh, the slowdown rates. So normal carts, TNT carts, command carts, and spawner carts all have the same slowdown rate. And that also corresponds to a signal strength of 35 for either a hopper minecart or a chest minecart. A signal strength zero hopper minecart will have a base slowdown of 0 0.995, and that's less than an occupied normal minecart, which has the highest slowdown at 0 0.997. So all that is to say that every game tick, the slowdown rate as seen here, is multiplied by that motion value that we saw before. So a higher slowdown rate means that it will slow down less quickly and a lower slowdown rate, such as for a furnace minecart or higher signal strength carts, will slow down more quickly. You can actually get a signal strength so high that it produces a negative slowdown value. And what happens then is that whenever the calculation goes through every game tick that negative acts as a modifier for what direction the minecart is moving so the positive z you can look at as plus z and then the negative z you can look at as minus z so whenever you multiply by the negative it's going to flip the direction so if I just nudge the cart a little bit, you'll see that it starts bobbling in both directions constantly. Another visualization of just how much the uh, slowdown value affects how far the cart will go. Uh, from only one powered rail here, uh, you can see that it makes a very large difference in how far the minecart will go. Now, going back to what I mentioned earlier with motion values being different for each minecart variant, 
because the slowdown value is different for each minecart, the or minecart variant rather, the maximum motion value also is affected because it's multiplied every game tick. So eventually it gets to a point where the motion you gain is equal to the motion that you lose from the slowdown rate. So that can result in some something really wacky decimals like this, which is effectively 1.5, as well as these here. And that slowdown rate also affects how much speed is lost every game tick. So it can speed up quicker at higher slowdown rates and speed up slower at lower slowdown rates, as you would expect. At a low enough value, the minecarts actually can no longer move by themselves, in fact. So uh, once you go above signal strength 145, the minecart will start moving slower than that eight blocks per second move cap. Um, here is shown how long it takes for a minecart of these variants to actually reach that maximum motion. And you can see that has a very large impact. Go all the way down here and you'll see that the normal cart takes quite a long time before it actually reaches that max motion. Although it is almost at that max of rounding to 1.5 around this mark over here. So it doesn't take long to uh, hit that speed cap or even get close to the max motion, but it takes quite a long time for uh, some of the cart variants to actually get the absolute maximum value that it can. So uh, all those numbers are shown here for the times and things along those lines. So let's look at some practical uses of this information. So one use would be for sorting these minecarts based on their slowdown rates. So if they accelerate and decelerate at different rates, it stands to reason that we can check that. So here we just have a simple timer that will see how fast the cart is moving. And as you can see, we can sort the three major uh, slowdown rates, uh, not including the occupied minecart, which you would not be sorting if you were dispensing the minecarts directly. Another practical use of this is determining what the most efficient interval between normal rails and power rails are. So since you have that overhang for uh, in time between um, the minecart's motion value decreasing and the speed value, um, you can actually, well, we can use that to figure out what the best interval is. So here I have the different efficiencies and how far it takes. And it turns out that for an occupied minecart, and it does depend based on cart variant, but for an occupied minecart, you can go 174 blocks off of 12 powered rails before you need to repeat. So every 174 normal rails, you need 12 powered rails, and then you can continue to go at that speed for a very long time. It averages out to about 14.5 uh, normal rails to powered rails. And then anything above that value, you begin to lose speed before you can actually make it to the powered rails. Um, there may be a more efficient testing setup as well as um, some more efficient spacing perhaps. Uh, I suggest trying for yourselves and see, uh, seeing 
if you get something different please leave a comment below um, but this is these are the numbers I tested and got um, I did gloss over quite a bit of the math so if you guys would like a follow-up video at some point that goes into a little bit more depth on that please let me know and with that being said thank you all for watching uh, if you would like to ask any questions feel free to join the archives I recently also started a um, SMP server dedicated to minecart tech as well and I will leave links in the description all right thank you